Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of Little Modular. Uh, today I will take a look at the last of the bunch of new feedback modules, which is SQZ, short for squeeze, super fun compressor. And this one does what it says, it squeezes. It is based on the uh, THAT4305 high performance chip and, and it's super aggressive and that's what I really like about it. If you like this breathing effect, this really squashed sound that makes all the transients go pop, that's the one you want to look for. I also have the uh, Purple Audio MC77 compressor, which is a modern recreation of the famous 1176 compressor by Universal Audio, which is also known for being super, super aggressive. It doesn't sound as the MC77, which is not bad or good, it sounds different, but when we're talking about the level of aggression and, and dirt, it's, yeah, in the same league. And the other thing I really love about it, it's super simple. I mean, you only have the input gain right here, makeup, and then you have one knob, and this is hilarious, really lovely. Less and more. <laughs> That's how all the compressors should work like. So at the same time, it's a gain, threshold, and ratio. Less and more. Input and output. That's it, we're done. <laughs> so now let's hear how it sounds like. I have a bunch of drum loops mainly uh, of different sorts so we can hear how it behaves on, uh, on them. Okay, so it's less, doesn't compress a lot. Let's adjust it. Okay, pay attention to the transients. It just, it gets really clicky, okay? Now less. See? It sounds like it doesn't have any teeth. Now? Oh my god. And it's really important to adjust the makeup so you can hear how the sound sounds before and after compression. Because if you won't take care of it, and the uh, compressed sound will be louder, even a bit, you will think that it sounds better, and it's often not the case. Okay, let's see some more typical loop. No compression, then. You can hear the popping sound from the uh, kick drum. It's just so lovely. Okay. Okay, it, it has this knock in the original sound. But when you crank it up, it's just getting a bit more oomph to it. Okay. Let's see another loop. Okay. No compression. I mean, it just sounds boring without it. It's like you turn the auto focus on your camera. Everything becomes just sharper. And you know, the ease of use of this. Like, no sharpness? Sharpness. Again. It sounds fine, right? Until you turn it up. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy how cool it sounds like. I'm loving it. I don't think there is much more to say about this module. It also works wonders on, on bass sounds and uh, on vocals. So if you're looking for some extra character, dirt and more oomph 
more pumping, aggression, then I would definitely check out this module. It's cheap, it's effective, and it's simple. Less and more. That's the way we like it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.